volume of liquid. A petri dish is used to look at cells or small moss plants. A microscope is used to look at organisms too small for the eye to see. Beaker tongs are used to take objects out of hot liquid from a beaker. A thermometer is used to measure temperature. Stirring rods are used to mix chemicals and liquids in a lab. And Bunsen burners are a single flame that are used for heating, sterilization, and combustion. Next, Casey is going to read you um, some uh, safety rules to follow. <clears throat> lab safety rules. Walk. It's important to walk while during a lab because it's something, if something is on the floor, you could slip. Or you could drop something or spill something. Goggles. Your eyes are really sensitive, so it's important to protect them from chemicals or other ingredients. Gloves. You should wear gloves to protect your hands from extreme heat or chemicals or germs. Don't reach over a hot plate or you will burn yourself. Pull your hair back so that it doesn't get burned and or chemicals do not get in your hair. And it's important to stand during a lab because if you spill something, it can get on your lap and you can see, you can see everything that's going on if you stand. Now maybe it's going to read you a Hurley story. Okay. This is about leukemia. Leukemia is a type of cancer of the blood or bone marrow. It is characterized by an increase in white blood cells. There are many types of leukemia, like acute or chronic, lymphocytic, or malignant. With such a high number of white blood cells, the platelet count is low, which are important in the blood clotting process. That is why people with leukemia bruise easily or bleed excessively. They also experience other symptoms, like feeling sick, having fevers, night sweats, and chills. These symptoms all occur in the flu as well, so it's hard to determine whether someone actually has leukemia. Many medical tests must be run. Sometimes the white blood count can show up normal, but this isn't very common, but it's called leukemia. Although it could be also because the cancer is in its early stages, or it could have entered remission, which is like if you have leukemia and then it goes away and then it's coming back, that's remission. It's best to catch the disease early on so that it's easier to get rid of. Treatment for leukemia can come in the form of drugs, radiation therapy, or chemotherapy. Bone marrow transplants can also be effective. Um, many people are affected by leukemia. Worldwide, around 350,000 people were diagnosed with cancer in 2008. Almost 90% of leukemia patients are those. Okay, next we have some more. Uh,